hey guys it's phase one with another video today we got some more leaks with the b patch for 3.17 all right if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe if you haven't already leave a like on this video also share uh with your friends as well all right so without any further ado let's get started all right so this is going to be relatively quick um so what what they what they've added uh in this patch essentially is they're saying that uh shopping uh shopping and selling tier zero is what they're they're pushing out with the b patch um giving players the ability to sell items from their local inventory to shops using a new interface powered by building blocks this is supported this supports the recently add added loot generation feature allowing these items to be sold for money this includes kiosk and service support for sales of non-commodities. The shops will now dictate which items they will buy based on the type of weapons or armor that they sell. Price and algorithm takes into account the state of the item, price um, of closest retail equivalent, etc. This is really cool, man. I, I think this is a good idea um first and foremost i like the fact that items are not going to have state which is really good um that's that's going to really add add to um the, the gameplay for sure man if you find a really um if you find a relatively new item it, it's worth more than a, a well a very used item which is really good and it looks like we're gonna have to go to different shops um within the verse to sell certain items and over time players will start to identify where it's the best places to get you know bank for their money as they're finding loot um on their adventures so i, I think that's really cool man it's it's going to encourage more people to go out and, and look for stuff you know um price and algorithm takes into account the state of item price uh, the closest retail equivalent, etc. This update also brings in a wide sweeping change to what each weapon and armor shop sells. Many high end items have been removed from weapons and armor shops and can be now found exclusively in the PU through looting corpses and exploring locations for loot crates. This is awesome, man. I think that's cool. I think it's a good idea. But to do that um if you want some really cool stuff if you want the really good items you you got to go find it you know so that will open up the avenue for players that do find these um you know valuable items and sell it to other players you know maybe you want a a, a heavy torso that's like one of the best um that's one of the best out there you may have to look for somebody that that has one that found one and you know meet up with them and you know agree on a price and then you purchase it you know it's uh it's gonna open things up for players players to interact in in such a manner and i think that's gonna be really cool all right um that's good man so uh weapons and items um added carryable storage container to cargo shops dumpers depot Kovalex shops and orison surplus so it looks like now we're going to be able to have a um, a carryable which will store our, our, our items which is really good i mean like if you're if you're planning let's say you're planning for to do a, a mission later on in the day you can quickly put everything in one container and have it ready so that when you're you're ready to go out with your crew you already have it all in this one container just drag and drop and and there you go right it's gonna it's gonna make organization a lot better in terms of inventory as well as when you want to sell like if you want to sell some if you want to sell items to other players in bulk you can do that right you can agree on a price you put it all in a, the storage container and you give it to the player and it's gonna open things up a lot you know and it might also be there also it seems like there might also be shops where you'll need to physically carry the con the items in there to sell it i don't know that's that's a possibility as well all right um feature updates are saying hunger and thirst polish so i think i get the 
I have a feeling they're they're gonna make us. You, we're gonna get hungry a lot sooner and thirsty a lot sooner, which will encourage players to go out and buy um, food and water. You know what I mean? And and recently in three sixteen, like I don't remember the last time I actually went out to go buy food and water. You know, right now it's like it's 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 not a really a part of the game right now. So they they definitely need to go um, have put in this polish for sure. You know, increase the decay rate of hunger and thirst. Exactly. There you go. All right. Um, injuries balance pass. Tweak injury uh, trigger balance to increase the chances of receiving injuries. Blood loss damage resulting from injuries has been reduced and now scale based on the severity of the injury. This sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. So I, I guess they, they want us to sustain more injuries instead of dying immediately which is I, I prefer that i think that's that's better um significantly increase the starting and max inventory of cryastro service quant quantum fuel hydrogen fuel and ship ammunition i think the reason why they're doing this is all the starfare owners are going to start uh buying um quantanium hydrogen fuel quantum fuel and hydrogen fuel in bulk just to fill up their star fare to go out and sell right so they definitely need to do this or else they're just going to empty the shops you know which i don't think is a bad thing it'll be good for them so then they can go and sell you know um and also last but not least they uh updated the mining gadget ui all right um so that's that's essentially it for the b patch just wanted to quickly share this with you guys would you guys let me know what your thoughts on some of the things that we spoke about today Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on the next one.